Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Farley Solomons and today I'm going to create this sexy, sultry look for you. And uh, let's begin. So for the foundation, I have used Maybelline Fit Me and my shade is 220. This goes on the entire face as well as the neck. Uh, for the eyebrows, I have used Bobbi Brown and my shade is Saddle and Mahogany. The eye palette that I've used today is Too Faced Chocolate Gold and the first shade that I've used from this palette is So Bougie and this goes on the entire eyelid as well as the brow bone. I have used a flat brush here as you can see, this goes on the complete eyelid. Uh, not forgetting, you need to use a primer before starting any eye makeup, any eye primer. The next shade that I've used from the same palette is Coca Truffle and this goes on the crease line. I have used a pointy blending brush uh, just so that this goes right on the crease line and um, it fits the crease line basically this brush. So uh, I'm going to go on the crease line and then drag the shade down on the eyelid. I'm going to add the shade little by little. adding more of the shade just to darken it a little bit more and to prevent any fallouts uh, I'm going to use a fair amount of loose powder under the eye just because I have the foundation on and I really don't want to mess up with my foundation so uh, this is the best way to prevent uh, the foundation to be messed up so yep um, as you can see I have used a good amount of loose powder under the eye going back with coca truffle I'm just going to add more of the shade and uh, blending it at the same time on the crease line the key technique is to blend blend as much as you can and at the same time I'm pulling it out uh, from the outer corner and then using a clean brush, I'm just going to blend, blend the shade on the crease line. The next shade that I'm using is Love and Coca and this goes on the eyelid, leaving the crease line. You may use a flat brush but it doesn't matter because you just need to spread the shade on the eyelid, on the entire eyelid. So um, I have just used a brush that I use to blend shades but I have used it today just to apply it. Um, anyways, uh, next is I'm using a flat brush and I have used uh, a fixing spray uh, to dampen the brush a little bit and then I'm just going to uh, use Holler for a Dollar from this palette with the wet brush and going over the eyelid. It's such a beautiful shade. Trust me, it's so beautiful. I mean, um, I, normally I don't use shades like this, but I think I, I need to be more open to the uh, new shades that come out in the market, you know, and uh, uh, and try it out because um, I think uh, it just gives you a, a, a very good idea of uh, knowing more shades. And then going back with Coca and Truffle, I am just going over the crease line using the same brush I'm just going to diffuse the uh, haul of a dollar shade uh, <clears throat> into the crease line and then I am going with rolling in dough uh, this shade on the um, brow bone and uh, I have used a very small brush for this and um, basically this is not too shimmery it's just that I have used it on the brow bone so that it complements the shade that I've used on the eyelid so um, yes it is a little shimmery I could say but it's not too much on the eyes and it's a very subtle subtle shade and then going again with a clean brush I'm just going to diffuse the shades really well Just 
just like that. And then going with Decadent, and this is a real dark shade in this palette, basically the darkest shade in the palette. And this goes on the outer corner of the eyes. And as you can see, I'm going diagonally from the uh, lash line towards the crease line. And basically creating a V on the outer corner of the eyes. And uh, it's like a wing I'm creating, but it's just with the eyeshadow and blending it in at the same time with the other shades. But blending, I could say, just diffusing it, trying to merge this shade, especially the edges, into the other shades on the eyes, on the eyelid. And then using a blending brush, I'm just going to really diffuse it out and um, diffusing on the crease line and diffusing it on the um, uh, other shades, uh, into the other shades that I have used. And as you can see, I'm just working on the outer corner without disturbing the eyelid, uh, without disturb disturbing the complete eyelid. And then again, going with the um, um, uh, 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 a clean brush, I'm just going to diffuse the crease line just like that. Keep diffusing it at the same time. It's important. Going back with coca and truffle. I'm just going to add a little bit of the shade on the crease line just to make it more prominent so that it doesn't dis disappear from the crease line. And then wiping off, dusting off my loose powder under the eyes. And like I said, this is the best method to prevent <laughs> your foundation from fallouts. Um, so yep. And then I'm using In Color Intense uh, Pencil. And this is in the shade purple. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm just going to use this on the lower lashes, under the lower lash line actually. I'm just going to draw a line, right, starting right from the inner corner, going out towards the outer corner. And um, I love this twist, you know, um, it, it makes the whole look so different. And um, the, the look turned out to be different just because I added a different shade on the lower lash line. And I quite liked it. So yes, this goes on the entire lower lash line. You need to spare those um, lashes. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going to diffuse the edges of this, this, this marvelous shade that I have used today. And, um, and yes, and then I'm going to use the same pencil on the upper lash line. And as you can see, I'm just going to draw a line and I'm just going to draw a wing. Um, it's not going to be that noticeable, but this kind of gives that hint of purple on the eyes um, and uh, that's what, you know, makes it more interesting, I could say. Um, and as you can see, it's really very subtle and that's what I really wanted. So, yep, but if you don't have a pencil that's purple, what you could do is if you have an eyeshadow that's um, similar, you could work with an eyeshadow. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can blend it, you can diffuse it, it's more than enough. And then using the same pencil on the waterline. It's. I, I, well, I think that this. I think this look is quite wearable. It, though, though I have used dark shades, it is quite wearable. The next I've used is Dior waterproof uh, eye pencil. Um, and then this goes. As you can see, I'm just using this on the outer corner of the lower lash line, and also. Um, on the upper waterline. This thing makes my eyes so watery, <laughs> but uh, it also looks good. Like I said, it makes the eyes look watery. And then adding more. And now what I'm doing is I'm just simply using a brush to diffuse the outer corner as much as I can. I'm just working on the outer corner. And then I have used my very own lashes, and this style is Party Animal. 
I love love all the styles that I have uh, in my collection and this will be uh, on my website very soon and I will make an announcement uh, soon on my um, on my YouTube Instagram and Facebook so in case you don't follow me follow me <laughs> and then going back with coca truffle this goes under the purple that I have used just a little bit and this is how it looks the mascara I've used today is Dior Dior Shop and I am only using this on the low lashes as I really don't need one uh, for the upper lashes because uh, the, the eyelashes are quite dark and unless I really want to push my original lashes into the false eyelashes I really don't need one on the upper one and then I'm using gold dipped from the same lash uh, from the same um, palette and this goes on the inner corner of the eye just there it's such a beautiful shade I love this shade when you see it in the palette it looks like oh my gosh this is such a dark shade but when you actually have it on the eyes it's, it's such a subtle shade it's so beautiful and this is how it should look like um, and then I have used uh, Dior uh, pressed foundation and um, Basically, I'm just going to uh, press it uh, um, into the skin, and uh, I, I I don't want my face to look. Um, what well, over here? It's just like I want my eyes to stand out. Uh, the face uh, must look nice and clean. So the reason I'm using a uh, Dior pressed foundation is basically it just mattifies the face and it just makes the face look even and clean. So yep, I'm going to uh, put all the items and the products that I have used today in the description box for you to uh, actually uh, read the exact names and uh, the exact shades. Under the eye, I have used YSL concealer and um, this is not really heavy. I mean, this is a real light concealer. Uh, if you have dark circles, and uh, I wouldn't recommend this concealer for you, but if you just want to brighten your under eyes, I think this is the best concealer, uh, if you know what I mean. And then I have used Kate Tokyo Face Powder, the Zero Base, just to go over the concealer to uh, sculpt my face and give it give some different <laughs> and to sculpt my face today. I have used Morphe Bronzer Palette, and um, it's a beautiful palette. The shades in this palette don't have any name, so uh, I'm just going to use one light, uh, one light, and one dark shade from this palette. this two shades and on the hollows of my cheeks jawline nose and forehead these are the places I always target and um, basically I want to lightly sculpt my uh, sculpt my face and um, uh, also at the same time uh, make it look more clean and more neat and um, I, I quite like this palette for the blush I have used Dr. Irina Eris and uh, this is how the blush looks like. It's a beautiful blush. It has three shades. It's a three shaded blush and um, just going lightly over the cheeks and a little bit on the jawline, on the chin. As you can see, it's not really noticeable. So I'm going to go with my Too Faced um, Candy Glow blush. This is another subtle blush and it has a very very light glow to it and um, I love this blush. It's like my all time favorite and this just goes on the cheeks, that's it. For the highlighter I've used Laura Mercier and I have just picked the gold from this, uh, from the four shades that, that is available in this palette. For the lips I have used NYX Lingerie and uh, the shade is baby doll over that I'm using max factor and it's a, it's a lip gloss and it's in shade lovely candy and this is how the entire look looks like I loved creating this look it's it was so much fun for me I mean I love um, playing with shades and uh, I love adding a little bit of creativity to the shade to the look and uh, like I say a twist and this is perfect if you're going for 
a night out or if you're going for a night party or something like that and um, yep I hope you enjoy creating this look for you or on anyone else and do let me know if you did have fun and um, that's it from me if you liked this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such more interesting and creative videos take care bye bye